Back on Kaja Island, the capture team is still in pursuit of Rebecca, one of the candidates for wild release. She's high in the trees, but curious. At last, the marksman has a clear shot. Before the sedative kicks in, the team hopes a juicy watermelon will encourage Rebecca down to ground level. They don't want her to fall. She's tempted. But she seems to know something's up. And so she climbs higher. The treetops are usually the safest place for wild orangutans. But not for an orangutan who's been sedated. It will be an anxious wait while the drug takes full effect. At Little East class at nursery school, it's time for Kumi and Mima to show the others the results of today's jungle lesson. Just like human infants, these youngsters learn by observing and copying. While the youngest classmates, Boomy and Jackie, watch from the safety of the hammock, Mima demonstrates to her classmates her brand new skill. Genios is fascinated, while Uchup is happy to just watch. These nursery school littlies are learning an essential lesson today. But there's always one kid with a limited attention span. On Kaja Island, tension mounts as Rebecca loses consciousness. The team quickly maneuvers into position with a net to break her fall. Rebecca hangs on precariously, and one of her friends comes to investigate. They quickly check her for injury. But the net appears to have broken her fall perfectly. And drowsy Rebecca is quickly stowed aboard for her trip back to Niarumenteng. She has two months of quarantine and health checks ahead. But if all goes well, she will then complete her journey to a new life in the wild. Rebecca is just the first of 18 orangutans chosen for release. And the team only has two days to capture them. Next, they relocate two miles upriver to Bungamut Island. This time, they have an audience as they approach the riverbank.
The Technici team recognizes Rutan, a 15-year-old female. She's had 11 years at jungle school and around three more on Bungamut Island. Now she's ready to fend for herself. Rutan keeps her distance. But all the expert sniper needs is a clear shot. Rutan pulls the dart out, but it's too late. The tranquilizer is already working, and she'll soon start to feel drowsy. The team must keep her in sight while they prepare for her inevitable fall. <laughs> But, as the drug takes full effect, things go horribly wrong. Rutan's arm is caught on a branch, leaving her suspended 130 feet above the ground. They have to get her down immediately, and there's only one way to do that. Fortunately, these guys are experts. Female orangutans reach only half the weight of adult males. But there's still about 80 pounds of orangutan to get safely to the ground. A carefully tied harness bears her weight. Now, they need to get her out of the forest before she starts to wake up. Two orangutans captured, 16 to go. Soon, the first boat is on its way back to Niaru Menteng with its precious cargo. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.